I'm pleased to introduce my entry to the Spacechem Sandbox Contest. It is the implementation of a elementary cellular automaton. And uh, I'm just going to quickly go through all the reactors here and show you how it's done. Um, a cellular automaton is basically a grid of cells that can take on values, and then there's different rules uh, that determine uh, how the values in those shells change uh, over different iterations. Uh, so you see I've got it in high gear here and I've already generated a bunch of iterations of the ring automaton that is in here. So there's a ring of cells, or in this case atoms, uh, they each have neighbors and uh, de depending on the neighbors uh, that particular atom might change uh, from one state to the other. Uh, in this case uh, our states are on and off and uh, the sigma is on and the carbon is off. Uh, so the first uh, reactor we'll look at here is the ring reactor. It's basically building the rings out of a stream of single atoms. And then of course we have the printer here showing the ring. Uh, this uh, reactor uh, takes the ring and it performs sort of a look ahead uh, so that uh, the neighbors of sort of the first and last uh, atom can be added into the sequence. Uh, this reactor decomposes the ring into the series of atoms, including the extra atoms that provided by the, uh, the previous reactor. Uh, these two reactors here take the atoms and add on the neighbors. So uh, a single atom comes in this, this reactor and two atoms come out of that, go into here, and then three atoms come out of there. Uh, this this reactor here is just splitting up some uh, material inputs and this reactor here is just joining up uh, some recycled outputs that we don't need anymore. And then the main reactor that's doing the work of the cellular automaton is the rule reactor. In this case we've implemented rule 110 and it's, bas it's just taking in those, uh, those three atoms and uh, determines uh, the rule and spits back a single atom back into the ring reactor and then it'll do that 12 times and then we have a new ring. 